Engineer. My name is Craig Terrian, and I'm the product manager for SolidWorks 3D CAD. Um, and we want to talk today about a little what, what's been going on at SolidWorks 2018. Uh, one of the biggest things is what we're doing with design to manufacturing. So everything everybody's talking today about uh, here at SolidWorks World is all about uh, not only design, but all the way down to manufacturing. So if you don't know, SolidWorks has announced a new product, SolidWorks Cam, uh, which allows you to create CNC tool paths and do CAM programming directly inside SolidWorks. So this is really a big announcement, and it really allows designers and manufacturers to really work more closely together. Uh, what we see now is that engineers coming out of school uh, know design and they also know manufacturing, and they also know electrical uh, as well. So you have this uh, group of people, engineers coming out, that can do design through manufacturing. So we want to provide all the tools that you need to get your job done. Um, if you look at the way products are developed uh, and the way companies are, are set up, there are different departments. There are engineering departments, electrical engineering, there's manufacturing, inspection, and people who create documentation for user guides and user manuals. And what SolidWorks in 2018, SolidWorks 2018, has provided is a complete solution, a design to manufacturing solution for SolidWorks. Uh, this allows your company, either individuals or everybody in the company, to work on one uh, single 3D CAD model and everybody can get their job done. So if you're doing mechanical design, uh, you're working on that 3D model. If you're doing CAM programming or working on the same 3D model, you're not working on separate pieces of software. Everybody's working in the same SolidWorks environment. And what that means is that you can make design changes or you can make changes because of manufacturing issues or you can make changes because the people in um, finite element analysis found a problem, you can make changes a lot faster. And those changes can reflect down through the system a lot faster. That way, you can make design changes constantly while you're developing the product. And by the time you deliver a product to the end, you're gonna get a better product, it's, it's gonna be more innovative and higher quality, and you're gonna be able to produce it at a cheaper price because manufacturing will have given input into how to design the part so that it's easier to manufacture. So all along the way now, you can use SolidWorks for every stage of your product development process. Uh, a, few, a couple of trends that we've seen uh, over recent years. Um, one is designers and manufacturers are trying to work more closely together. So there's a designer and he has a part that he wants to make and he wants to get it to the manufacturer as fast as he can. He wants that part to be uh, delivered back as quick as possible. So over the last few years, there have been uh, many companies that have come up that are, are developing uh, um, a way uh, inside of SolidWorks of uh, allowing people to design a part and actually order it directly through SolidWorks. Products like SolidWorks Costing, which came out in 2012, allow a design engineer to, at the click of a button, find out what the cost of his part is. And with DFM Express, which is built directly in SolidWorks, he can, get, he can find out if his part is manufacturable. So there are all these great tools available for design engineers. But to really improve that, in now uh, since January, SolidWorks um, and De, well, Dassault Systems has uh, created three, the 3D experience marketplace uh, called Make. And inside of there, uh, design engineers can upload models that many, many different vendors can then quote on uh, specifically, that's for 3D printing right now, and get, um, get costs and delivery and things like that. Um, you have other processes that, that 
uh, manufacturers have, uh, uh, I'm sorry. So, yeah. so with the 3D experience marketplace, um, other, area, other processes are also covered. Manufacturers can join the 3D experience marketplace and uh, you can communicate directly with your design engineer. So if you're a manufacturer, sign up now for the 3D experience marketplace, make, and uh, you'll be exposed to uh, many uh, new customers that you weren't able to reach before. And as a design engineer, look at 3D experience marketplace make to see all the myriad of all the uh, manufacturers that are available to help you make your parts. So the other trend that we're seeing out there is that um, engineers that are coming out of school today are very different than engineers that came out of school in the 80s and even in the 90s. Uh, engineers coming out of school today know not just mechanical engineering, but they know electrical engineering. They know software. And now they also know how to program CAM and how to cut parts and how to do 3D printing. So it's really um, an engineer is, is a much more well-rounded person now coming out of school. And with that, SolidWorks is tr trying to provide all the tools that you need to get your job done. Uh, whether you're uh, doing a startup company as an entrepreneur or if you're just a hobbyist, these are the tools that you can use to, to not only design the parts that you make, but also manufacture them. So in my career, uh, I came out of school a while ago, uh, but even then, um, as a design engineer, I took a career uh, in, in the aircraft engine industry. And I, was a, I did design work, but I also did manufacturing. And what, what I found was that um, understanding how things were made was very important to being actually a better designer. Because when you understand how they're made, you're going to design things that are easier to make, that are less expensive to make. And I'm not talking about sacrificing design, I'm talking about just building better products. So a good product is one that not only functions and looks good, but also meets your cost targets, it meets the needs of your customers, all right, the requirements that they have. So understanding design and understanding manufacturing gives a, a, a better, uh, so understanding design and understanding manufacturing helps engineers to become better designers as well as manufacturers. Uh, so what is the future of engineering, right? So the future is very bright. It's, it's never been brighter than what I'm seeing today. Things are moving so fast. Look at the technology that's out there today. Um, from the phone that you have, using your phone as an engineering tool, to uh, the scanning, 3D scanning technology, to uh, for reverse engineering, to metal printing, which you see right out here on the shop floor right here, printing parts directly in metal, all right? The future of design and manufacturing has never been more bright, and also, it's never been close, more closely linked you don't have the walls that are in between design and manufacturing anymore. It's really becoming one thing. The design and the manufacturing of it has never been closer than it is today.